Well, here I am back on the bedrock again. This is the spot that I was working last time I uh, did a video. And we can see this is all the bedrock that I cleaned off and brushed off with uh, and uh, got some fairly decent gold off of. And in here is the drop back. You can see this uh, big chunk of bedrock that the water can come over. And then there's a kickback down in here. And uh, I got some decent gold out of that right back in there now. A little few leaves have blown in, but that's about it. Then there was the uh, place that the water came through. This is the actual gut of the stream right here. The water comes through, and this piece of bedrock right here kind of blocks the water flow. And right behind it, therefore, a vortex is generated. And right back down in there, you can see that I cleaned all that bad rock off right down to the to the bare bones. And uh, again, I got some fairly decent gold out of there. So that's where we are today. Now we're looking at some interesting things over here. You can see this particular chunk of bedrock. That's a big chunk of bedrock. And I pried that loose from the larger chunk of bedrock here. And right behind it, we see a bunch of material that I took about half of. And uh, some of the gold that I got last time may have come from that spot right there. So I'll uh, run a test on the rest of that material and see if we're getting any gold out of there. All right, then we are going to uh, go for the gusto and see if I can move a big chunk of bedrock. So I brought my big bar with me today and uh, we'll find a appropriate piece of bedrock to attempt to move and we'll take it from there. So that's what's going on and we'll uh, stay with it and see if we can find some gold today. Well, my dream of uh, actually moving a chunk of bedrock came to a screeching halt when I started cutting down on this side of the rock. I was going to take out that small piece first and then unfortunately discovered that everything, this right here, is bedrock and that attached to that and that is attached in there. So it's going to take at least me and Wayne and two big bars to even uh, ha have a chance of, uh, of moving this rock and we're not going to be able to flip it up and out of the way we're just going to be able to maybe roll it over <laughs> but anyway so uh, so much for that but when I was cleaning out the sides of this smaller piece right here we were running bedrock right down here bedrock 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 and all of a sudden there is a drop off and a nice deep hole and that's what I'm clearing out right now at the bottom of that hole I was finding frangible bedrock which uh, means that basically it, it flakes apart very very easily it's usually uh, like a shale or a schist and uh, gold tends to get trapped in those little cracks quite often so I'm, I'm kind of hopeful for that particular spot I'm working on getting the uh, as much as I can out of that hole right now and that'll take care of it. I already took uh, about two and a half, three gallons of dirt up to the car and I'm going to have another, well let's see, I just started working on this stuff and you can see I've got a hex pan full of it and I'm going to have to clean off every piece of rock and work on that. But uh, now we, well, I'll probably end up with about five gallons of dirt if I'm lucky, right? If not, you know, hey, four gallons is good, three gallons is also good. No sweat. I can always come back. So uh, that's what's going on here. And I'll take the stuff home, run it through the recirculator and uh, the little triple buddy sluice setup I've got there. And we'll see if there's any gold hiding in there. All right, well, uh, we're back at my house now, and I have brought home the uh, material, the quarter-inch classified material that uh, we got there yesterday. 
up at the uh, bedrock and you can see it's about a half a bucket of classified material I'm gonna run that through my uh, recirculator here and what I have is a triple little buddy sluice that I, that I made and uh, drops right into the main bucket here and finally discharges into the tray and uh, that is where the water is pumped out and recirculated again so that's the setup and all I have to do to start this puppy well wait a minute uh, I, since that's dry material I'm going to throw some water in there and stir it around a little bit so it uh, kind of breaks up the clay lumps and things like that so we'll uh, we'll get back to the video here in a little while and we'll see if we have any G-O-L-D yeah alrighty well I've uh, cleaned out my sluice and uh, what we're left with is this amount of uh, material right here in the blue bucket are my minus 20s and in the screen there a little classifier if you want to call it that it's just a, a, a kitchen strainer but it's about a 20 mesh so uh, that's my plus 20s right there and now we'll go ahead and pan out in my handy dandy mixing tub and uh, find out if we got any gold it's going to be interesting 